Try and picture a van-based mid-sized people carrier. Bet you weren't imagining anything quite as nice as this. The third generation version of Citroen's much more civilised people carrying Berlingo has been further distanced from the original Mark 1 model's basic commercial routes. With smarter styling, a choice of body shapes, more equipment and an efficient set of PureTech petrol and blue HDI diesel engines, this value for money 5 or 7 seater is now a vehicle that demands to be taken very seriously indeed. If you're after a budget family carry-all, it's well worth a look. In concept, we think this third-generation Berlingo people carrier borrows much from Citroen's iconic post-war 2CV, a car with its own sense of fashion and one that, above all else, was simple, spacious and affordable. That model's ride quality was one of its greatest attributes, and the same is true here. The damping is tuned to deliver an endearing strolling motion, which is brilliant at dealing with everything from speed humps to road ripples and higher frequency bumps. It's not going to deliver you any kind of sporting drive, of course, but body roll is better controlled than you might expect from such a high-sided design. Uh, the steering is appropriately light, and that facilitates a tight 10.8-metre turning circle, which you will really appreciate in town. Refinement's not bad either, and that's despite the vast interior space. And under the bonnet, well, there's a decent petrol option this time around. Citroen's 1.2-litre, three-cylinder PureTech turbo unit. This puts out 110 horsepower in its standard form, or 130 HP if you order with the brand's latest torque converter, EAT8 eight-speed auto gearbox. That auto transmission is an option if you order the engine we've been trying here, the top 130 HP version of the brand's familiar 1.5-litre Blue HDI diesel. This frugal unit can return up to 65.7 mpg on the combined cycle and a CO2 reading of 113 grams per kilometre. This Blue HDI power plant can also be ordered in 75 HP and 100 HP states of tune too. It's probable that the average Berlingo owner doesn't have much time for the stylized SUVs that family buyers seem to love so much at present. If he or she were to be typically French, you can imagine such a person taking one look at a fashion-led crossover and then dismissing it with a puzzled Gallic shrug as they turned away in a waft of Gaulois smoke. You buy a family car to suit family needs, mais non? So why would it not be proudly bluff and squarical, just like this one? Now it's easy to buy into that principle in theory and then be quickly put off by it, by the grim, grey, utilitarian demeanour that tends to typically characterise LCV-derived models in this segment. After all, no one really wants to be pigeonholed as a delivery driver on the school run. With this one though, we don't think you will be. The adoption of this French maker's two-tier front lighting signature helps here, blending surprisingly well into the angular shape. Move around to the side and there's less of a van with windows feel with this third generation model, uh, primarily thanks to little touches like the black finishing applied to the A and the C pillars and the addition of these distinctive air bump lower flanking panels. This time around in this segment, Citroen's offering buyers not only this 4.4 metre M designated standard body shape, but also an alternative 4.75 metre XL body style, which is intended to deliver a lot more space for those wanting to get their Berlingo fitted out with a third seating row. Let's take a closer look at boot space. Now, whichever way you specify this Berlingo, its cargo area will be vast. This standard M-length model has 775 litres of boot space up to the window line, or up to 3,000 litres if you were going to fold the rear bench and load up to the ceiling. This top-spec variant gets a fold-flat front passenger seat too. Activate that on a long wheelbase model, and you could be looking at as much as 4,000 litres of total carriage capacity, and enough loading length to accommodate something as big as a kayak inside. If you just need the boot area, then a nice touch is the way that the parcel shelf, as mentioned, can be positioned at two heights and can take a reasonable amount of weight, enough so as you could put the family dog on top of it with your shopping safe below. Time to take a seat at the wheel. Now, previously, the front cabin of this model really did feel pretty much like what it was, a van masquerading as a car. This time around, though, uh, the effect feels far more convincing, and that's thanks primarily to the addition of this 8-inch capacitive center dash infotainment screen, and that's a standard feature that's fitted right across the range. 
Uh, the fascia surfacing is now far less obviously of the wipe clean variety. And if you buy in further up the range, there are even a few uh, overtly stylized touches. Uh, this stitch strap on the glove box lid, for example, and the Rosada green finishing for the upper part of the dash, which comes with this uh, particular car's optional XTR pack. We've saved arguably the best bit though until last, cabin practicality. If you were to add up all the capacity of the 28 different nooks and crannies available within the interior of this Berlingo, you'd arrive at a figure of 186 litres. That's about as much as you get in the entire boot of a city car. Enough on what the front of the cabin is like, let's take a seat in the second row. Now both short and long wheel based Berlingo models offer access to this part of the car via these sliding side doors. Now the sliding doors are rather heavy to close from the inside and this format means you can't have door pockets either. Still on the plus side this second row offers enough space to suit a wide variety of passenger shapes and sizes. Uh, there are vast standards of headroom and because the centre transmission tunnel is virtually non-existent it's straightforward to accommodate three fully sized adults if need be. In summary then, if you add up the things you actually need for school run, annual holiday, gym kit and town commuting family transport, a van orientated MPV like this simply makes more sense than anything else. And amongst cars of this genre, we think this Citroen will be, for many, the most sensible and appealing option from amongst the various models available, especially if you opt for the alternative lengthier seven-seat body style. Now, if that Berlingo can be presented with a modicum of style in the way that this top flare specified variant has been, then so much the better. Now, true, it may not be the car that you and your tribe always dreamed of owning, but it may well be the one that you actually need. <laughs>